First off, uh, how's the first few days of spring ball going for you guys? Well, these kids have been great. I mean, they have worked hard all winter. They came back from spring break ready to go to start practice. We're out here learning together. We're working together. You have a new staff. You have a lot of new players. Some of these guys were in high school in December, and now they're involved in their first college practices. So the attitude has been tremendous. The effort has been really good. Um, and, and now we're slowly getting each other on the same page and, and making sure that, uh, that we understand the expectations out here as a practice goes on. And speaking about that, what are you hoping to accomplish in your, your first spring ball uh, with you, B? What are you hoping to see over the next several weeks uh, heading into the, the game at the end of uh, spring ball? Well, it's probably not the answer that everybody would think, but I want to see our group keep coming together, building chemistry, um, building confidence in each other, building trust in each other. And, and I think those intangibles are really, really important, especially in this day and age for the sum to be greater than the parts. So whether you're looking at the short term and the spring game coming up in a few weeks or summer workouts that'll be around the corner or preseason camp leading up to the Lafayette game, we need to keep bringing this group together on and off the field. How is it different evaluating players when you're new to a program? And uh, this is probably the first time you've seen several of these guys actually hit the field, hit the gridiron. How is it a different process for you as a head coach compared to when you've seen these guys over a couple years? Sure. Well, you have to be objective. You have to be open-minded. You, you can't be jumping to any conclusions after three practices. Uh, the benefit for me is that I was a head coach for a long time and then I was a special teams coordinator where I had to know everybody on the roster. I had to build a relationship with every player. I had to objectively evaluate every player to assess what they could do to help us in a real holistic kind of way. So for me, it's sort of back in the saddle in that regard because that's something that I've over time tried to train myself to do. Um, and then you have to lean on your staff and, and be constantly asking them what they think, what they're seeing. Um, and then at times we'll sit down together and, and evaluate film together. Um, and then I think constant conversations with the players are important so that they're getting feedback on what they're doing well and what they need to improve on. And then the, the last thing I have for you, you were probably asked this at the, the presser, but what is it about this Buffalo job that made you want to make that leap back uh, into being a head coach and uh, what do you think you can do with this program here? Well, this place checks so many boxes for me, whether you're talking about the location, uh, being in the Northeast, being in my home state. Uh, I love the academic reputation of the school. That's something that we talk to recruits all the time about is this is the 36th ranked public institution in the country and, and one of the best group of five schools academically and anywhere in the nation. Um, the fact that we play in a great league that has so much parity and, and you look year to year, um, teams that are at the top, teams that are getting themselves bowl eligible, uh, it's a great opportunity for us um, to each and every year put ourselves in position to compete for bowl games and championships.